Hello, everyone. <laughs> uh, I just I just realized that I do that now more more than I did before because of people mentioning it at work when I did like, like a really big one like this and one of my other one of my other videos on my other channel, my second channel there. Uh, so yeah, now I'm just kind of noticing when I do it, it makes me laugh a little bit. But uh, I was going to do a video this morning. Uh, well, oh, so, I mean, I'm still going to do it. But yeah, it was going to be the first one I did. But then I got thinking, I've been thinking a while about going back through all my old update videos and actually just sitting down and watching them again and uh, going through the content that I was promising people from a long time ago. And holy crap, <laughs> let me just say that there is a lot of it. But right before I go through the list, of things to come, obviously I'm going to keep as close, as up to date as I can be on the newer movies that are coming out, obviously throughout the year, because I know that new is popular, but I also want to be bringing uh, the promised content, and as, as well as other stuff too, obviously, and I'm going to try to keep this promised content in the order of the videos, uh, and there obviously will be extras with some of them, so I'm actually going to write that down, um... Oh, God, what is the name of the movie? Um, crap. Well, I can't think of it right now, but... Uh, I won't worry about that at the moment. I'll just... Uh, yeah, I can't think of it. I know, I, ha I know it's on Netflix, but anyway. We're not even quite there yet, so... Uh, as you will have noticed, obviously, the newer movie reviews, uh, the intro, I, try, I changed the color. I just changed the color. It's not really that big of an upgrade. I just thought, uh, obviously, to help me know through my catalog of videos what was the newest content and what was older. Uh, so, obviously, I will be uploading videos, uh, my movie reviews, slowly getting through the stuff that I did last year because I know I took so long off again through the holiday months, and I know I've been trying to stay steady with this whole YouTube thing that's just been back and forth, and me taking time off, and then coming on, and then taking time off, and then coming on, and another thing I wanted to address is that I noticed in a lot of my older videos that I mentioned Patreon, or trying to do something else with anything else, and for the time being, anything with Patreon, or uh, going over to OnlyFans to upload content, or... Uh, doing reaction uh, videos for the time being, that is all just going to be uh, thrown away for now. Uh, so what I'm going to focus on is obviously my two YouTube channels so that I'm not, so that, so that I don't feel like I'm overwhelming myself because this is what I'm enjoying doing at the moment. And uh, yeah, I just want to stick with it, stick with both channels, uh, put as much content as out there as I can. This year it really actually finally... <laughs> And I know I've said this in previous videos too. Finally, just stay steady with it. That because I'm really enjoying this. It's been keeping me happy in a better mood. Um, staying steadier with it this year, and I think that's just what I need to do. I need to just tell myself that I get to do this uh, instead of saying I have to do this. You know what I mean? So that it doesn't it doesn't feel like a job anymore. And I think that's kind of what I was psyching myself into way too much was making it feel more like a more like a job and not like a hobby, because right now that's literally what this is. It's just a hobby at the time being until I can turn it into a career, because that's the end goal, but we have to take the steps in order to do it, and obviously, yeah, obviously it's going to be a grind, and you have to get content out there to people that, that I hope people are enjoying, because some of my videos do really well, um, and I know this isn't probably a biggest accomplishment for some channels, but me being a smaller channel, um, the Batman the new Batman uh, movie re-review, just got 50 views within a few days. So yeah, I'm really happy about that. That's a positive thing, because most of my videos recently have been getting like maybe four to five views a video, which I mean isn't bad for a smaller channel, but yeah, that was, that was, a, shock, uh, that was a surprise to me actually, that getting 50 views in such a small amount of time. So I'm really happy about that one. Um, I guess people were waiting because I did review the movie about a month ago, and then I thought... I should probably go see it again, just because there were people talking in the theater behind me, and I didn't realize how big of a distraction that was. So, yeah, kind of crazy to go back and watch the movie again and actually be able to pay attention to it. 
and uh, yeah, just kind of see all the uh, um, yeah, just kind of actually take in the film for what it really was, as opposed to just uh, you know missing certain things and not being able able to remember certain things. But I think that's kind of an important thing to do with movies, especially one that was kind of, that was. Uh, but the storyline was like that. There's so many, so many things like attention to detail, sort of things that you really have to pay attention to, and obviously with people distracting you from behind, or people people being distracting behind you, it's very hard. I hate that in theaters when people go to see a movie and all they do is just sit there and talk and shine lights and oh, I want to say something, but I just try to hold it in because I don't want to cause a uh, scene or any commotion or any chaos, I guess. Uh, so, let's finally, now that we've, now that we've talked for six minutes about other stuff, I mean, I've thrown some other, thrown some actual points in there about the channel and what's obviously going to be coming, but I know that I have definitely said in the past that book reviews were going to be a thing, and I am going to finally hold that promise, or, or I guess come forward with that promise is what I should be saying. So, um, I made a little video four years ago, I think it was, in 2018, about the Walking Dead book series, and what a, what was I even doing in that video? I'm not even sure. A lot of a lot has obviously changed in four years with this channel. Um, let's just say that much. Even in the nine years or ten years that I've had it up now, I used to upload gaming content to this channel way back in the day when I think Black Ops 2 was a thing. <laughs> so you can obviously tell that was a while ago, because how many games has Call of, or how many Call of Duty games have come out since then? Yeah, so I mean, maybe that'll be a thing again eventually, um, gaming content. But uh, for now, until I get like an actual camera set up where I can record stuff, I, it won't be a thing for a long time. Uh, so we're not even going to worry about doing that yet. But I mean, in the future, it could possibly be a thing again. Uh, but for now, I'm really not focused on gaming that much as I used to be. So. Yeah, I really would like to get back into a couple games. Um, and I, I just started playing this game called Mortal Shell, which I think will probably get me into uh, more of the, I guess, RPG kind of open world gaming thing, because I really am liking the look of Elden Ring so far. So, uh, yeah, really looking forward to buying that game and actually getting back into World of Warcraft. So now that I've gone on that tangent, like I said, we are going to do the Walking Dead book series, and... I don't have everything with me because I wasn't going to try to, oh my god, go through my shelves right now and try to grab all that stuff off of it because that would just be, uh, yeah, that would be a whole project on its own. But we are going to do this in order, and obviously as I'm reading these books, uh, I will be obviously uploading other content until we get to them. But once we get there, we will be doing The Rise of the Governor will be the very first book. Uh, the Road to Woodbury is the second book in the series. I'm glad I actually went back and watched these videos. And then The Fall of the Governor, and I believe I have a couple of the other ones. I'm not sure if I ever... If not, I'm definitely going to have to actually finally make a trip to a bookstore. <laughs> um, chapters being the name of it. And get those other Walking Dead books. Because, yeah, they were, they were good from what I remember reading. And then... Finally, we are going to do the Heroin Diaries, because I know I've talked about that in several other videos, and I just need to actually just start start over, start rereading it um, from the beginning, and just get that um, just get that book read, because I really want to read it. And I just, every time it seems I pick up a book, I start to enjoy it, and then I just set it down, and I start doing other stuff, because that seems to be the way I am with certain things. If it's not grip, grip or grasping my interest enough, or I just forget about it completely, I just stop doing that one thing. So yeah, but I have enough content now that I think I'm set for a little while, so I can actually read these books, and it won't hurt my channel any. Uh, and then we are going to do the book uh, Dark Days about Randy Blythe, the lead singer of Lamb of God. And then I am going to revisit the whole Star Wars series, because I don't really think, I know for a fact that I didn't do those films justice, especially the original trilogy. Uh, I botched that completely. Uh, I think probably anybody who viewed those videos would agree because I think I named certain creatures in the film that weren't even in the film. So there we go. That's why I'm doing that. 
And then I'm going to continue with my Batman animated movies, um, the 80th anniversary uh, collection. And then I'm going to do, because I've mentioned this in more than one video, the Rocky movie collection. Because, yes, we need to get that. Uh, yeah, this is just all promises I've made in the past. And then we will do the uh, Pet Cemetery, the original and the remake. Because uh, I'm, I'm no longer going to be doing, uh, I should probably explain this. Uh, I'm no longer going to be doing, like, months, like Hero Month, Monster Month, that kind of thing. I'm just going to be reviewing uh, as I go, and every video is just going to kind of have the same intro. Now, I might change the color from time to time, maybe based on the month, to kind of set the tone a little bit. But other than that, I think I'm just going to keep the same intro. And then, finally, once I get better editing software, that'll all change again, but it'll all just be the same. Uh, and then, we are going to do uh, the A Nightmare on Elm Street uh, movie series. Uh, and then the James Bond movies, because I've been looking forward to doing them for quite some time. So we'll do them all in order, because I have the whole collection. Uh, I don't know why I did that, but that's about how thick the collection of movies is, so it's pretty crazy. Uh, and then we're going to do the Wrong Turn series, because the new one just came out last year, and I did just watch it recently, and I thought it was a great way to reboot the series, so I kind of want to go back and watch the older ones, and then re-watch the new one, I think, and then kind of do, like, maybe a comparison video, too, like I've said I'm going to do with Sony movies in the past. And then we'll do the uh, Final Destination uh, movie series. And then we'll do the Dragon Tattoo Trilogy. Now, these are the, I guess to me, they would be the foreign film um, versions. Uh, but the original trilogy, not the, I guess the new one has, doesn't even... It, it isn't even completed in the trilogy, is it? Because I think the uh, other one still has to come out yet. But I will be doing those ones as well, I think sometime down the road eventually. Uh, and then the Born Ultimatum series with Matt Damon and obviously Jeremy Renner's in the fourth movie. And then, uh, I hadn't, for the love of me, don't even know where this book is right now. But I'm going to read... The Jim Gaffigan book, My Dad is Fat, once I can find it. Um, I guess I have lots of time to search for it, seeing as it's a little ways down the list. And then I'm going to read the Dr. Disrespect memoir, because I know I've mentioned that in a video, that that was the book that kind of got me back into reading, and I just got right back at it again. So, don't know what happened there. And I know that I've talked about my B-rated movie series, which I have four episodes for, so I will get those uploaded. Uh, right after I do the Dr. Disrespect Memoir video, because I think, yeah, I want to keep this in order. So that I will do after all that has been done, uh, finally. And maybe I'll have some more uh, B-rated movies uh, to go, ready to go by then, hopefully. We'll, we'll see. We'll see uh, how all of this goes first before I even think about trying to stay off of this list. Um, besides, obviously, newer movies that are coming out. Uh, and then we're going to do the Indiana Jones series and the Blade series, because I think I had mentioned them for like a certain month when I was doing that um, at one point in time. And I know that I have mentioned doing some anime series, uh, obviously. So I think uh, I mentioned... Now, there might have been other ones that I mentioned, but these were the ones that I uh, heard or stuck out to me the most. So I think uh, Dragon Ball Z is one of them, and I have to collect all the rest of the um, series, so I will start doing that, setting money aside for that, and uh, Dragon Ball GT will be next, and then Bleach, because I'm almost finished collecting that show, and also almost done that show, so yeah, I should actually start rewatching that from the beginning again, and then One Piece, because I believe the I believe the manga ended there last year, was it? So I believe the show is coming close to an end after just a little over a thousand episodes, and I am only 400 and something episodes into the show. So yeah, I really got to start watching that again because it's such a good show. And something that I will have to look for uh, in the meantime, after once all that is out, is uh, apparently, I know I talked about doing album reviews, so I have a whole milk crate of CDs 
uh, that I should probably go through and just actually sit down and listen to. Uh, some of them I haven't obviously listened to in quite some time, but I feel like even if you've listened to it and you haven't heard it in a while, uh, yeah, I think it would just be cool to sit down and have like an afternoon of music because I have not... Yeah, usually when I'm listening to music, I'm just in my truck on my CD player, so yeah, I think that'd be cool. But anyway, uh, three of the CDs, apparently. Now, I'm not sure. I'm going to have to look into it a bit more, but Gojira, Lamb of God, and The Offspring. Uh, I said that they all had new albums during whatever time period I uploaded that video. I think that might have been a couple years ago now. Uh, so, we'll definitely do that. And then I talked about just doing like a random uh, possible weekly report. Uh, now I don't really know, uh, I was thinking about doing a series about uh, like a what's to come for like the, the month of, but I'm, I'm honestly wondering if that might be too hard or whether you guys would even like to see that. Um, so yeah, let me know. Um, down in the comments below if you could make it this far into this video. Uh, and then I think if if nobody wants that, I'm just going to scratch that idea because, um, yeah, I don't think I'm just going to do that just on my own. I think that's if people in the comments want, want to see that from me, I'll try to fit that in as best as I can. Um, but I'm not making any promises on that one yet. That's not going to be set in stone. Uh, if I don't get a lot of you know, f viewers of mine wanting it. Uh, and then I'm going to do the Die Hard series because I, by this time, I don't even know what month this will be in. It, this could be around Christmas, so this might end up working out perfectly. And then I'm going to do the live-action Grinch, uh, the Jim Carrey one, obviously. And then I'm going to have to go back, and I know that uh, Space Chimps was definitely one of the ones that I have to do a re-review for, so I'll write that down. Um... Space Chimps, and I believe there is a second Space Chimps movie now, so I'll probably do the re-review for that one, and then I'll see what other movies I think I should possibly re-review besides that. I know I just did a uh, re-review for Bright not too long ago, um, so yeah, I guess we'll, I guess we'll kind of see um, what other movies I feel like I need to re-review. And then, finally, because it seems that every time I sit down and watch this, I end up watching the entirety of Season 10 and then just never reviewing it for whatever reason. Uh, and I am talking about The Big Bang Theory because that series on my channel was doing really well. I'm not sure as many people would be interested in it now because it's been over for so long. But I, for the sake of my own, uh, I guess, conscience, I want to finish that series and I need to do seasons 10 through 12, so I'm going to do that. Regardless of how well the series does on my channel now, I want to do that because I've been promising that in several videos. I know I have, so I need to get it done. And then I think I just said Space Chimps, so yeah, that's one of the movies that I need to review for sure. So I will look for that in my shelf, um, but obviously that will be coming after everything else. So, yeah, um, this is a little bit of a longer update video, but I wanted to get all this stuff out there and talk about it because I feel like it needed to be talked about. So, yeah, um, I think I've covered everything I need to now. Uh, that was a crazy amount of stuff to cover, but I'm glad I spent the last about probably hour, hour and a half going through my older videos just to find all the stuff that I promised in the last four years because, yeah, a lot of it has just been thrown to the wayside and I don't want to do that anymore. I want to actually come up with the content that I've promised and I know I've probably said stuff in several other videos, so if you're ever watching one of my videos and there's another promise in there, please comment it below that video because I would love to actually, because going through 200 and something videos of movie reviews, that would be too crazy. Um... I th I think for sure, uh, it would be a little it would be a little wild to go through that many uh, movie reviews for sure. Um, so I mean, if you're ever watching one and I say something at the end or beginning or end um, that I promised, yeah, comment it down below that video, and I will definitely read that comment and respond and say thank you very much for saying this, and I will add it to the list.
because it needs to be added. If it's been promised and I don't ha already have it on the list, yeah, I will definitely add it for sure because I feel like you guys deserve that content uh, that I've promised over the years. Um, and I know that I've definitely taken some breaks in between, some extended breaks, and yeah, I just wasn't wasn't doing well at certain points with my mental health, and I just needed to take those breaks. Like I was pretty pretty seriously depressed at certain points um, throughout, basically between 2018 and 2020. So, but I'm doing much better now. Um, I'm a lot happier. Now that I'm actually sticking with something, I feel like that that was probably the biggest thing was uh getting over the uh uh how would you say this just getting over the uh thought of i guess constant thinking that I was gonna constantly fail when obviously if you're not trying to get anywhere, you're never going to be able to uh so yeah, I think that was probably part of it. I was just thinking that I was going to do so well in such a little amount of time and now realizing that that is just not going to be the reality of it and I have to really actually work hard to m make this like kind of like ch a chase your dream story I guess is what you could call it or yeah yeah just never give up on what you actually want to do and I feel like I was just doing that too much and it was just causing yeah um, like it was just causing me to be depressed and overthink a lot of things and yeah, now that I'm just back into the grind of it all and just enjoying it again, I don't want to ever take a break. Like, I just want to keep doing this because I think this is awesome. Like, I really, I'm really actually feeling fulfilled doing this now. Um, and I think maybe trying to change things here and there was kind of spreading myself too thin or wearing myself out too much. And I think I just needed to focus on one thing. And now that I'm bouncing back and forth between two channels, it's kind of taken a weight off my shoulders because I can be more creative with what, what I'm doing, right? Like uh, the drinking stuff on my second channel and the food reviews uh, kind of takes the pressure off of just trying to run one channel. And I think I was running myself into the ground doing that because I was just trying to think of, oh my God, what am I going to do next? And what can I come up with next? And... Instead of just focusing on what I had originally planned, uh, I, yeah, I was just trying to do too much. Um, and now bouncing back and forth between the two channels, like I said, kind of gives me a little bit of freedom and definitely some more time to actually sit down and edit and do those types of certain things that I want to do. Um, so, yeah, and I think that, I think that kind of takes a definitely the weight of the mental stress of everything just trying to run the one channel and not putting any content on the second channel because now it's gaining some traction too which is nice so yeah I think that's all I have to say and uh this was a lot longer than I thought I was going to be talking about this but 23 minutes hey uh yeah there was a lot to talk about in this video so uh, but that is it and I will see you guys in the I'm not even sure what the next review will be, blah, 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 review will be, but I am watching the newest Spider-Man movie right now, because as of next week, uh, we are going. I'm going out with some friends to see the new Doctor Strange, and I know that I need to see this movie because it is like the introduction movie to the multiverse, basically. Even though it's been touched on in certain movies beforehand, but yeah, this one definitely uh, opens it up to a whole another, I guess, uh, spectrum? Is that is that what I would say? I'm not really sure. I'm kind of at a loss for words at this point. I'm just kind of rambling again. But, yeah, so I'm going to let you guys go because I'm just rambling again about what I'm doing. Uh, which just brings me back to the whole would you like a weekly report video, I guess. Um, so, yeah. Uh, comment down below if you would like that. And uh, I think that's it. That's it. That's all I have to say. Bye-bye uh, for now.